Keyword research is a vital component in being able to create highly targeted affiliate campaigns, but with my simple fast forward strategy, you can compile relevant keywords in less than 10 minutes for each niche market that you're involved in. Let's take a closer look because when it comes to building your affiliate campaigns, you need to know exactly how to evaluate keywords. The reason for this is simply because in order to generate targeted traffic to your squeeze pages, review sites, blogs and other affiliate based campaigns, you need to know exactly what people are entering into the search engines when looking for products like the ones that you're promoting. For example, if you create a review website based on the acne niche, you'll want to use both product titles such as this one here, Acne Free in 3 Days, which is a very popular ClickBank product, as well as general keyword strings that those who are looking for these specific products are likely to enter into search engines like Google. The more accurate and targeted your keywords are, the easier it will be to generate consistent traffic to your website, which in turn you can then funnel that traffic through your mailing list and off to the merchant's website tagged with your affiliate link. Conducting keyword research doesn't have to be a difficult or time consuming process. In fact, within 10 minutes you can generate a listing of potential keywords for every niche market that you're involved in. To start, there are a handful of free online tools and resources that make it exceptionally easy to evaluate potential keywords prior to creating your affiliate pages, websites or campaigns. Here are the ones that I personally use and the first one is the Google AdWords keyword tool. Now this is quite a long URL so if you go to Google and type in AdWords keyword tool uh, it'll direct you to this page. The other ones are NicheBot Classic which you can find here at nichebotclassic.com then there's trendwatching.com which you can find here at trendwatching.com forward slash trends there's Google Trends which is google.com forward slash trends at the time that I'm making this video it only shows trends from the USA although I'm sure they will extend that in due course and then finally there's eBay Pulse which you can find here at pulse.ebay.com and that tells you what the most popular searches are on eBay. Let me just go back to the uh, AdWords keyword tool because this is the one that I use the most. Now in order to get the most out of this you do need to have a Google account but it's free to sign up for and it's actually a very simple sign up process. Uh, but you can still get a lot of information if you don't want to set up a Google account. And basically what you do with this is you enter a seed keyword and this means a keyword phrase that accurately describes your market uh, for your niche into this little box here which says word or phrase. And I tend to look for phrases with at least 300 searches a month and ideally I want to find at least 20 keyword phrases with a good number of searches and limited competition. So let's just try it out here. Let's uh, continue on from our earlier acne example. I'm going to type in how to cure acne. And then click on search. It takes a moment or two just to load up. And you can see here a lot of different statistics. It says how to cure acne, get rid of acne, get rid of acne scars, best way to get rid of acne and so on. There's a great big whole list here. This slider here, this graph here, shows the competition. The further over to the right it is, the higher the competition. The further to the left, the lower competition. This tells you the number of global monthly searches within the last month and you can see here it's 8100 and this is the number of local monthly searches. I'm in the UK so it's showing the searches for the United Kingdom. You can change this if you click on advanced options 
you can set your countries, you can have the United States or Brazil or wherever you happen to be. It also shows you, if I come here, the uh, trends. So you can see whether something sells very well throughout the year or rather where something is searched for uh, evenly throughout the year or whether there is you know a sort of a cycle um, as to when people are interested in a particular uh, search phrase or not so it'll give you an idea as to whether there is um, a season if you like for a particular um, search phrase and therefore you'll know when's the right time to market to that particular niche so what I do is I take those keyword phrases and then I run them through Google's main search engine wrapping my keyword string in quotations because I want to see who's targeting that exact phrase so let's say I want to one look one here get rid of pimples that's got a uh, fairly low competition and it's got a a reasonable amount of uh, global monthly searches I'm just going to enter it here into the Google search bar in Firefox. And click search, and it takes me to Google. And you can see there are 173,000 results. And these results will ensure that only competitors using the same keywords within their websites and via search engine optimization are featured within the search results. And the quotations will pull up websites that feature the entire keyword phrase or the entire keyword string rather than individual keywords. I'm searching for keyword phrases that produce fewer than 150,000 results. Ideally, I would like to see at least 8 to 10 potential keyword phrases with 300 plus searches per month but with fewer than 50,000 results that I can use within my marketing material. And this will give me the best possible chance of ranking well for those phrases. Enter in different keyword phrases wrapped in quotations until you find 10 to 12 phrases with fewer than 150,000 results. You shouldn't be afraid to target some of the high traffic competition phrases as well because you can still get traffic to those pages. However, you should focus primarily on targeting the keyword phrases that have a bit less competition. Sometimes this process takes a bit of time, especially if you have a lot of different keyword phrases to evaluate. However, it's a very important part of the process if you want to generate organic traffic from the major search engines like Google, as well as be able to funnel in traffic from alternative traffic sources such as article marketing and so on. Another strategy is to enter in the actual product titles from your product swipe file to determine the keyword phrases that currently target each product. You can then use these in your website's actual text or any articles you create, product reviews you develop and in your actual website's title and meta tags. Compile your list of keywords for each niche and product that you're planning to promote. Don't overlook the importance of keyword research because you'll use it throughout every affiliate campaign that you create. For example, with the acne market, let's say I'm interested in promoting a product that I've found in the Clickback marketplace called Acne Free in Three Days. And this is their pitch page here. And for each product that's sold as an affiliate, I'll get paid $21.52 and it pays 75% commission. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste the URL here. Like that. I'm going to the uh, Google AdWords keyword tool. I'm just going to paste it into here where it says website. Now, by entering this product URL, or I could enter the product name or even the author's name into the Google keyword search utility, 
I can generate targeted keyword phrases that are likely to bring in traffic from potential buyers searching for information on this specific product. So let's just click here on search. And then we have the results. So what you want to do is to take some time to go through all of the different keywords that it's generating here. Every single one right the way down. And let's go to the next page. There's a hundred. And what you want to do is to create a keyword swipe file that is based on the relevant keywords that directly target the product. We have some more here. And so on. Now, one thing that you may often find in a search is you'll find the author's name of a particular product. Uh, for some reason it's not showing up on this particular search. But the author of this particular book is called Chris Gibson. And if you include his name as one of your keyword phrases, then you're also going to be targeting people who are specifically looking for him or specifically looking for products or uh, uh, ebooks and reports and so on that he's written. So you want to do that as well. And you want to repeat this process for every niche and every product that you're interested in promoting until you have a swipe file of targeted keywords to use in your affiliate marketing campaigns. And you should spend no more than 10 to 15 minutes on each niche evaluating and compiling these keywords. Okay, in the next video, I'll talk you through how you go about setting up your online shop.